I'll guide you through how you can get voice chat on Roblox Mobile. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to our settings. So to do that in the Roblox app, just go to the bottom right and tap on the three dots and then scroll down and see so you go and see the option for settings here in the more menu. Now, I just want to explain as well, there are slightly different ways for how you will need to go and um, enable voice chat, but I'm going to go and explain them all. So just make sure you watch this full guide. Go and click on account info, just like so. So the first requirement for being able to go and enable voice chat on Roblox is that you're at least 13 years old. As you can see, in my case, I am. So once that you're at least 13 years old, now what I recommend doing is making sure you've got a verified email address and a verified phone number. As you can see in this case, I've got a verified email, but I have not got a verified phone number, so I should do that. And this is because if you're 13 and have got a verified email and phone number, sometimes you can go and use voice chat without having to go and verify your age with an ID. I'll show you that in just a moment. And so what I recommend doing once you're at least 13 and you've got a verified email and phone number is you go and press the back button in the top left and then you can go back to privacy and then you can go into privacy and some people at the top here are gonna have the option for enable voice chat. If you don't, don't worry, this simply means you need to go and verify your age. So go and click on account info and what you need to do is make sure your birthday is set correctly because it's gonna go and compare it with your ID. And then what you then need to do is go and click on verify my age like this and you'll then go and get this pop-up here and it says verify your age to get the most out of Roblox, prepare a valid ID, driver's license, passport, ID card, residence permit. I've got a driving license, so I'll then press start session. If you're worried about uploading your ID to Roblox, you probably shouldn't be because Roblox is such a huge company, it has to comply with so many laws, and I'm pretty sure they use a third-party verification company as well. You can always go and check out these companies as well, just to make sure, but of course you don't have to do this, but it just means you won't be able to use voice chat. And the browser will then go and open up, and just wait a moment, and then what you need to do is go and click on begin verifying. Uh, make sure you go through that checklist there. They all apply for me though. And you'll then see these three dots and you need to choose where your government ID is from. Mine is the UK and then mine is a driving license. And so now what I'm going to do is click on the camera icon. You'll need to allow access to your camera and then it's gonna go and take a moment. And now what I can do is go and line up my ID and take a picture of it just like so by using the shutter button. And then if you're happy with it, press use this photo. This is going to be blurred out because of course it's literally got my ID. And then I can go and take another picture of the back of the ID like this. And then I can press use this photo and it's then gonna go and upload it. And it's now processing the ID. And you'll then be asked to go and take a selfie. So let me press on get started. And here I am. It will then guide you through to go and take your selfie as well. After you followed the instructions, it will then say congratulations, you're done. And thanks for verifying your identity. And what you can do is swipe back to Roblox and as you can see it now says verification successful. I can then go and press on close and I'll say age verified. And then if I go and press the back button in the top left, then tap on privacy, it will take a moment. And as you can see, we then have the option for enable voice chat. So I can go and switch that on like so. Um, and then you need to go and agree here. If you're sure, then press enable and that's it. So now I'm gonna go and show you a Roblox game and how you can use it in the game. Now here we are in a Roblox game which has voice chat. And as you can see above our character, we've got this microphone icon. And then all you need to do to be able to go and allow people to start hearing you is tap this because at, at the minute it's got a red line through it. And now it's enabled and you can go and see the green spiking up which means I'm now broadcasting my voice into this Roblox game. So I'm gonna go and mute it again, just like so. And if I want to go and hear people, I can go and turn my volume up. And there's also some settings as well. So if you go to the top left and tap on the Roblox icon, you can then go and uh, click on the gear or cog icon at the top. And what you may need to do is go and increase your volume in the Roblox settings as well. Is that separate from your actual device volume? If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing. Peace.